It's just a laid back vibe, baby. Hello, folks. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. We are here on the Carnival Sunrise for our Thanksgiving cruise. And we are actually in, because you know it's five of us, we decided to do an interior room because the Carnival Sunrise has interior rooms that is good for five. So I'm going to take you in to show you how it would look if you had five people in a room. Now take it. I wouldn't do five adults in here, all right? So let's go in here and see how it's looking as the missus is stuck at the door with the closet open. So I'm gonna show y'all what it's like in here. Hello! All right, so you come in, you have your storage here, you have your closets, and the door is magnetic, so that's a good thing if you're trying to get in. So first closet here, you have your life vest. For some reason, they have a bunch of life vests in here for us, and there's only five of us. They had three kid vests already on the bed when we came in, but they have even more. So there's your life vest here in this closet. Then in this closet you have a full full size mirror, hangers. It's a pretty decent sized closet because you have total two of these full size like that. Then here you have another closet space. You have your safe storage up here as well. I'll show you all the bathroom. <coughs> So this is your bathroom. Standard size, shower. They do provide shampoo and shower gel. And if you need to dry anything, they have a shower line up here. So have shelves for your toiletry items. And now this is how it will look if you have five. When you start off, well, first off, the configuration could be either twin or king. We have it king. And I can tell you this, it's totally different when you have the um, beds down at night because when we came in here earlier, we were trying to figure out how in the world it's going to work with five. So you have two pull down beds. So during the day, they pull them up. At night, when they turn down everything, your sheets and everything, they pull them down. So you have that. Ava and Ryan will be up there. And then they have a trundle bed that they put, it stores underneath your bed. And so at night, they'll pull it out. So Ari's going to sleep there. And that's how this configuration is set up. They, have the, they keep the ladders in your closet. So, this is a king bed, which is pretty much just two twin beds put together. So, then it, the only thing we can say is, we will say that we don't like, is not much storage shelving. What, what do you think? Yeah. So, one closet is taken up by just the life vest. Yeah, like I was saying. Because we have three additional kid ones plus the adult ones that was already there. So, we lose one closet space. We are going to try to find out if they can take some. Um, but just in general, there's a lack of storage. As you can see, we have a stroller in here. Yeah, stroller in the so corner. We do need to fold it down. But honestly, it wouldn't make a difference for space. Yeah, because they don't have drawers. It's just shelves. So you have shelf here. And then the side tables are just moved. They won't yeah. take them out of the room. So the side tables were actually on each side of the bed. So she just moved them under here to give us a little bit more space for the trundle bed. So that's all it really is, is that you have one. Open out for me. The drawer? Yeah. You have a drawer with okay. your uh, blow dryer in it. And that's the only actual drawer. Then you have down here, you have your cooler. So you have that. And then you have 
two shelves up here. So for us, this is the first night and it's going to be interesting, but I would say um, bring like hooks or things to put on the doors to give you a little additional space. Now, one thing I found out and I was a little annoyed about is that the walls aren't actually metal because, you know, a lot of people say bring the uh, magnets. So I bought some magnets because I thought, oh, yeah, that would be great. We could do that. And this is the only spot that the magnets stick to. The ceiling. <laughs> because the walls are not actually metal. They're like a hard plastic. <laughs> so that was a little annoying in itself. So, um, yeah. Take that to account. I will get the ones that go into, like, with the inside of the, you know. Hang on the closet Yeah, door. hang on in the inside of the closet doors or something like that because it, um. Yeah, they're, they're not metal walls. Mm -hmm. So, but that is the interior room here on the Carnival Sunrise seat fits five. Um, I would not recommend it <laughs> if it is more than um, two adults. It's just going to be way too tight. We're, look, we got little three little girls and it feels like we're playing Tetris in here trying to move around. So, also, definitely. I would recommend, I don't know if this is an option, but our children, our littlest, the two-year-old still takes naps. So we didn't, it wasn't set up like this when we first came in. So, of course, we were trying to get them to take a nap in the one bed. So I don't know if it's an option in advance to have them set it up. So everything's already, the trundle beds are out, the bunk beds are out. So that you, or if you have little ones and they take a nap, they can do that when you board. Yeah, that, yeah, because we all, we were tired. It was definitely a long trip getting here, coming from Maryland. And they just had this bed out. These weren't out yet. So we were all trying to squeeze into the bed to take a nap and just to relax. And, yeah, I was getting kicked in the head. <laughs> so definitely take that in consideration. Will it do it if it's just the two of us? Yeah, of course. But for the five of us, nah, we're not doing this again. This was a one-time deal. So, yeah, we learned. But, all right, till next time, make sure you like and subscribe. Forgot one thing. So, outlets. You get, let me see, two 12, 112-volt outlets, and then you also get two USB pl plug outlets. Oh, and then you get two at the top of your bed. So I would definitely go on Amazon, get um, one of the cruise um, type of surge protectors. Don't get a regular surge protector because you can't bring that on the ship, like an extension cord or anything like that. But you can get one of the ones that has like the multiple USB plugs and um, outlets on it. To um, but just make sure just just type in cruise essentials and it'll come up. All right, so. If you have a lot of electronics, definitely take that in consideration. Um, also, if you're one that likes to work from, or like if you want to do some work, and don't have an actual desk, I mean an actual chair, it's pretty much just this little thing, stool right here in the desk. The desk is not that big. So, take that in consideration when you're booking your next cruise and also if you need assistance booking your next cruise i'll leave our contact information in the description and just reach out harper's travels all right so that's again make sure you like and subscribe